Hello guys and girls and welcome back. It's Big John here. The app's at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to listen to my music. So is all the relevant information I'll be speaking about in this video. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to draw a manual Fibonacci tool when trading gold. Yes, this does work with other trading instruments, but I will be showing gold and how to use this. And it's going to be showing you how you're going to find levels of where gold could possibly stop and start. So we'll call that support and resistance. So I hope you're going to like this one, guys and girls. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see on my chart at the moment, I've got my Asian session range indicator. I love using this indicator because it tells me when the sessions actually start in the market. So I'll know when to find the most volatility inside the market as well. What I am on is a 15 minute chart with gold. And what I'm going to be looking for first is I'm going to be looking for a swing high or a swing low. So to help you with this, the best thing to do is look previously to the left chart data and we can see that there is a swing high around this area here so I can just mark this one out for you here so you can see there's a swing high around this area here and here's a swing low around this area right here so let's just mark this one out as well so now we've established our swing high and our swing low the next thing for us to do is to now get our Fibonacci tool so I've got my Fibonacci tool set to a hotkey right here Fibonacci retracement but if you'd like to find out where the tool actually is it's just here so if you come into this and then you go into your settings here. It might say pitchfork for you first or anything like that. You just gotta go into this setting here and you wanna find Fibonacci retracement. And you can put a little star beside it. When you put a star beside it here and you also do this as well, put your star here on, you start to get hotkeys right there. Yeah, so now I've got my Fibonacci tool here. And what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm going to now just be marking out my swing high right here to my swing low right here how i've set out my fibonacci at the moment i will show you the settings at the end of this video as well i've got my golden zone i've got my maximum bullish zone right now here and i've got my maximum bearish zone right here which is obviously the swing high will be the bullish zone and the swing low will be the maximum bearish zone so what i'm looking to do is i'm looking to find out when i'm going to be able to gain entry into any one of these trades why it helps me is because i've got my asian session range indicator so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait to see what happens where it's been a swing low here and i can see asian session was the the white area i have here london session is the blue area i have here and new york session is the yellow session i have here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be looking to find entry on the next day coming so the next day we can see new york session push the price all the way up here into the golden zone of the Fibonacci the golden zone of the Fibonacci is usually the 0 0.618 or the 0 0.5 or the 0 0.382 now this is known as the golden zone of the Fibonacci where price is usually going to stop and react around this area we have to find out what's going to happen sometimes it could be consolidation sometimes it could be a breakout but using a method like this we would be able to see a simple way of how to find an entry into gold whether it's going to buy or whether it's going to sell right now what i'm looking at is i can see it went all the way up into new york session and it found some type of resistance around the 50 on the fibonacci this is one of the biggest support or resistance levels that you'll find on your Fibonacci no matter what time frame you draw it on wherever you get your swing high to your swing low and then you have your 50 it's likely price could either reject off this area or break through and continue to buy or sell as you can see previously here broke straight through the 50 came back to test the 50 did not break this level price continued to sell back down yeah so now we're just looking for something like this in reverse some people would call this a head and shoulders as well here's the left shoulder here's the head here's the right shoulder and you can get a continuation for this trade. But if you'd like me to make any videos on that, please let me know and put in the description below. And I'll get onto that. I was able to now find entry in this trade, which I did call this trade out in my VIP mentorship group as well for my students. You can see below, I have my TDI. I have made a video on the TDI and I will put that in the description in the top right. You'll be able to see that. It should pop up right around here. Now, what I've done is I've seen that my TDI is in the bullish sentiment zone sentiment area so it's giving me an indication that price right now let's move this out of the way is in a bullish trend on this time frame 15 minute chart i'm doing all of this on a 15 minute chart you can do it on a one hour chart four hour chart i personally do it on bigger time frames to catch swing trades i'm just giving you an indication of how to catch these type of trades but in my mentorship i do show how to do this and a bit more so you can catch swing trades bigger pips on gold but as you can see right now i can see that price has given me an entry for the tdi right there it's turned bullish 
and once again the TDI is in the bullish sentiment zone. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our rectangle tool. For you to be able to find this tool, it's the same thing as before. You just want to go to the left of your screen and it will be here. It might come up with the brush first here, but you just want to make sure you scroll down on these tools on the left and then you should be able to find it right here. And I've just put mine on my favorite, so it's there on my hotkeys. And now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm just going to put a level of support here that I'm drawing for myself. So straight away, I can see that price is reacting nicely to this level and it's not seeming to break this level at the moment. So the fact that it's not seeming to break this level, I've managed to take this trade from here in Asian session. Once again, what I did do is I called this out in my mentorship because I was up testing things at this hour in London. So I've managed to catch entry right here. Now this is Asian session, which is 2 a.m almost in London where this happened you know I'm always up late you know I'm really trying to give my all to my students and as much as I can for my group in Discord. The next thing for me to do is to see okay what is happening with price so my stop loss was just below this box right here that's all it had to be because if price broke this box and continued to go down I don't want to be in this trade no more take me out of this trade and look how much profit I was able to make in this trade this is how you can catch some good trades so I can go to my short and long position tool and my entry was like right here stop loss only had to be like 40 pips not even 100 on this trade and look at that my overall TP would have been around this level here but I was able to catch at least all the way up to here, which was still good enough. This was about 200 pips, as we can see. You might be asking, okay, that's good because the market has already done this trade and it's easy to show us how this setup can occur if the market has already done this trade. Okay, let's go back to a previous one. As we can see here, we would have had a swing low to a swing high. In order for us to catch this sell, I did give this trade out in the general group as well, which was over from this level here. I believe I gave an entry from about here, which was a 300 pip drop on a trade. I gave this out. All the proof is there. The people could go into my group. You can see all of it. All the proof is there that I'm giving out these trades and because I know what I know about the market so I can give out this information. When you're looking at this setup going here, you've got all your Fibonacci levels here and we're waiting to see what price is going to do in reverse this time. Yep. So it's the same type of setup. You can see here was a head, here was a shoulder. Here, I would say around here was another shoulder and then price had to break down. Yep. The market now is now coming into London session and then in New York session price broke down into this golden zone. Yep. But then price rejected off of this golden zone and came back up to this level here. So what I would have done here is the same thing with my rectangle tool. I would have just drawn my level of resistance here this time. Yep. Because now I can see price has come here. So I want to see price break, retest. Yep. And then I want to see if price breaks that retest zone, because if it goes all the way up here straight away, then it's a bit more risky for me. Let's just say now. Yep. But now I want to see what's happening. It's broke this area, even broke the strong 50% of the Fibonacci, as I've explained before. I've got a resistance area here, and now I'm able to just open up my TDI tool and look for entry. So I've got entry either here I could have taken, or I've got entry here here I could have taken so I'll just mark these out I could have taken one here but this would have been an aggressive entry because we haven't seen a first resistance or I had an entry here which was a bit better I could see price rejected off of this zone once it's rejected twice here so when this TDI crossed here and also this gave me bearish divergence as we can see right here which I have made in another video I can show you the video the link would be just around here as well yeah you can see right now there was bearish divergence. So this was a good indication to tell me once this break retest happened, there was a resistance level here. I could see that I had divergence bearish forming on the TDI, gain my re-entry and get the sell going back down where I want to take it to. Where would the sell have gone to? We know there was a previous level over here. So here's where my overall limit for my sell would have been, as you can see. So I'll just get this. And I'll put this tool here. So let's say I gain my entry here. My stop loss would have been just above this box. Again, let's just make it around about 50 pips. And look at this. So you can see from this risk to reward ratio, how much you're winning these types of trades. I'm always telling people in my general group that are not in the paid mentorship group, be patient. I know because my first video shows you how to scalp gold and make a lot of money off of gold from a small amount of money. But the whole point of this video, and I want it to be in depth, so it might be a bit long, is so that you can understand when it comes to gold, you have to be patient. Wait for gold to show its hand. Wait for it to get to a point where you can see a clear rejection happening in price. And that's how you'll be able to tackle gold. So as we can see now going forward, what are we going to predict for gold to do next? Yeah. What do we think gold could do next? So let's just get rid of this TDI so we have more space here. Let's get rid 
rid of these lines as well so the charts a bit more clear to work with nice clean charts this is what i'm trying to do more and more of nowadays we can see what let's look for some key factors here so i'm going to put this on youtube just so we can see what happens as well i might not be right i could be absolutely wrong but this is how i break down my chart and try and figure out what's going on so the first thing i can see is that okay price is more towards the overbought zone on the tdi up here so and why that is is because my tdi overbought zones will be set as this i'm even going to set this for you right now i'll go to my tdi my overbought zone is here so we'll just change these in the video live all for you yeah and i'm gonna make this one green i'm gonna make this one red i'm gonna make this one green i'm gonna make this one red and now I'm going to make this one green, put it this bigger. I'm going to make this one red, make this bigger. And I'm going to make my 50% bigger as well for me. So there you go. So there you go. As you can see, I've now adjusted my TDI. So I've got my oversold zone here. I've got my overbought zone here, complete max overbought. I've also got my bullish zone coming into here. It's kind of faint. You can't really see it too much here, but there's a green line right here. we go so i made it a bit darker so you can see it i've got my overbought zone here between here so this is the bullish zone so you can see right away that price is very close to the overbought zone so let's bring this back down yeah and then i'm going to be looking for some factors based here so we can also see that we're close to the what the swing high we're not too far away from it now so the most i can expect gold to buy back up to again before finding a stronger level of resistance would be around here but as i can start to see that bearish divergence is forming here to here let's just make this clear as you can see bearish divergence is forming from here to here now i'm in a situation where i'm like hmm do I want to look for a continuation of a buy for gold right now based on what I can see from my Fibonacci levels? Or do I want to look for a rejection and then a sell? So what I'm going to be waiting for and anticipating is to see what price is doing. Really, I'm going to want price to get to at least this level here with this divergence, draw my zone, let's say here, and expect price to do something like this. Go up to here and then I'm going to expect price to reject. I'm going to expect price to go up to here and then I'm going to expect price to reject and go down to possibly maybe about the 50 because you know what it can do. It can always find some type of support or resistance around this area. So I'm going to expect it to go to like here. So you can see this is a possible 200 pip trade for me if I'm getting an entry around here. Yep. And it has the potential to do that or to continue going down to this level or this level or this level. These lines are also great for TP levels as well. When you have this, it doesn't have to hit them exactly, but it can go very close to it. So I believe I did sum up pretty much as much as I can do in terms of this video. And if you feel like there's anything I've left out or anything you want me to cover a bit more, please let me know in the comments below. Like I said, what I'm doing now for my VIPs, especially in my Discord, is um, I've done a lot of videos, a lot of strategy entry videos and stuff like that. And there's gonna be so much more coming this year. I've just been really working on my trading skills and understanding the market. Because if I understand the market better, I can always deliver better content. It just makes sense. No point giving you a bunch of videos that don't help. It's just pointless. So what I do for my VIPs is I will make my own videos based on my schedule, but I also tell them to give me ideas of videos that they want me to do, which will help them, of course, and is going to help the general community. So I want to make people a bit more involved in what's happening here, the growth of my community. I've gotten some great suggestions. This was one of the suggestions of the videos to make. Hawk in my VIP group suggested I should make a video like this based on the Fibonacci, drawing it manually. And here you go. Here's the video. And uh, I'm going to take more suggestions from them. If you'd like to know how to get into my VIP group, my Discord link is in the description below on YouTube. You can also get into my general group. You'd be in there as well. Like I said, it's not just signals I want to give out all day. You know, in the general chat, I try and teach people the best way I can, but to also make it fair and make sure that a lot of my information does obviously go to my VIPs, but I do teach the best I can. And I'm giving out trades like this. Like I said, I gave out this trade clear as day here. This trade is all proof right there i gave out this trade for free 
for people. This is a 400 odd pip trade here. Even on the reversal, I gave them pretty much this because I showed them this in the free group. I want you to know this was a strong daily level of support here. Once again, all proof is in my group. Strong daily level of support here. So price is most likely going to react off this level. So once you learn more about the Forex market, you would have gained entry for this. Some people in my group did. They saw it was a, a strong support level on the daily chart and they caught this reversal from down here. So you can see they caught this trade going all the way up here. So yeah, please get involved. I hope you like the video. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. And um, yeah, let me get into it. So on that note, peace. I love you guys. And yeah, let's keep getting these pips, man. Let's keep getting these pips because I'm just getting gassed about what I'm learning. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. And I want to make sure you guys are happy as well. You're not, you know, getting a bit down about the market when you take your losses. And one of the next videos I'll do is based on just entering your trades based on a strategy and showing you how if you just write the data down, you're going to see how you're you're still being profitable over a period of time. And I've got a sheet for that as well, an Excel sheet I have created. So yeah, once again. Peace.